Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl Team Builds video, episode 3 with the Kansas City Chiefs. I was only able to play two games yesterday, so I'm playing five today and five tomorrow, so we get just the playoffs on Friday. But it's my first games with the new update. You can see on the screen right after the update, so here we go. And we are actually taking on Denver, we can see no restarts. I'm going to show that screen periodically so you guys know I'm not restarting. All right, so Denver, their first drive's a turnover. Then we hit Tyreek Hall for four yards. Now, what I probably should do and will do at some point is look into getting 11th and 12th men on the roster. A run of a yard for Priest Holmes makes it third and five. On third and five, we get 10 yards and a first down to Holmes. On first down, all out blitz look coming. We're going to throw it over the top. That's Holmes. That is 13 yards and a first. The linebacker is lurking quite a bit better, breaking off of the blitz. So the update definitely is making a difference, but so far, we're playing okay. We get Gonzalez on second and one for five yards, and another first. Going outside, that's Tyree Call for four yards. Second and six. Going to check it down, overthrew it, incomplete. Third down coming up. On third down, Kelsey... Fairly open, seven yards, first and goal at the four. On first and goal, we've got Tony Gonzalez, caught, touchdown, 6 nothing. I do like the end zone colors to go with the teams. We get the two, and we're up eight zip. Denver fumbles. We start the second quarter. Oh, shoot, it's two minute quarters. I'll have to change it after this game. I've had it at three-minute quarters for every save file. I don't know why it went to two. I will fix that ASAP. I will fix that as soon as possible. Second and goal at the six. That is cut for a touchdown by Tyree Call to make it 14-0. Going for two, 16-0 is your score. Denver... They punt, we get the ball, 32 seconds. There we go, five yards out of bounds. And nine more yards out of bounds. And incomplete out of bounds. Not a lot of time left in the half. I don't expect too much to happen. <laughs> Five yards out of bounds. It's fourth down. Nine seconds left. We're actually going to punt. We take it into the half up 16-0. Starting the second half with the ball. Wow. Wow, that was a nasty fumble. And we're now only up 16-8. There we go. Tyree Call, nine and a half yards. Second and inches coming up. Holmes on the ground, two yards first down. On first down, going to Tony Gonzalez. Cut. 11 yards first down. On first down, going back to the air. Gonzalez caught. Nine and a half yards makes it second and inches. On second and inches, we're going to go short middle. Caught by Tyreek. Nine yards first down. On first, back to Tyreek. Defender misses the tackle, 12 yards, and another first down. And then hit Priest Holmes, strafe in. 10 yards, is that first and goal? Yes, it is. First and goal. Little check down, touchdown. 22 to 8 is your score now. And going for two. We've got Tyreek at the top, it's 24 8. Denver gets the ball. 
They miss a field goal, so we're still up 16 with the ball back. We hit Kelsey. 17 yards and a first down at midfield. On first down, we've got a blitz look. And we're going over the top to Priest Holmes. 12 yards and a first. Clock continues to run. On first, we're going to check down to Holmes. He's not having a great running day, but he's getting some receiving yards at least. Second and two. We're going to try to run it. We don't get anything, though. Third and uno. There we go. Out a yard and a half. And a first. On first down. Strafe out. Get three yards. Second down. Going to Travis Kelsey. 12 yards. First down. On first down. And going back to Priest Holmes. Caught 12 yard touchdown. Makes it 30 to 8. Going for 2. Back of the end zone. Caught 32 to 8. Should be the final. Yes. Kelsey hurt out for two games. We'll praise Eric Berry. Why not? Two defenders level up. One Derek Thomas and then Eric Berry as well. Mahomes is back. Yes, we gotta get to three minute quarters. There we go. And now we're taking on Green Bay. Let's beat them. We get the ball first to start this game out. Mahomes drops back after the kickoff. Checks down to Holmes. Nine and a half yards, second and inches coming up. We're going to run it on second and inches. And we get two and a half yards and a first down. On first down, everything was covered. So we're just going to the running back. 16 yards to Holmes and a first down. That's a pretty solid play. On first, we get a Tyreek Hall. Strafe in, pick up eight yards, second and two coming up. Make it second and one. And we run with Holmes for three yards, even though they call it two. And that's another first down. Then we hit Tyreek Hall on first. Breaks a tackle, gets 12. And our next first down, we're going back to Tyreek over the middle. 10 yards. That's 10 and a half, not 9 and a half. So it's a first. Now we hit Priest Holmes. Caught on the check down. Gain of seven. Second and three coming up. Gonna run it. Get two and a half yards. So third and truly inches coming up. Back to the ground we go. We're just going to get the first, get two yards. Nothing fancy. But now we've got first and goal. On first and goal. We hit Holmes. Caught. Touchdown. 6-0. Going for two. And we get it in the back corner of the end zone to make it 8 nothing. Green Bay throws a pick. First and goal at the 10. Gonzalez caught touchdown. It's 14-0. Going for two. Got jammed, so it stays 14-0. Green Bay punts, and we start the second quarter with the ball again, already up by two scores. We get seven yards with Tyree Call. Second and three. Check down to Holmes. Let's see what he can get. Eight yards. There we go. There we go. On first down. We're going to run it. We get back to the line, but that's it. That is it. Second down. Hit Holmes. He breaks a tackle or two. Or three. Gets 18 yards in a first. On first down. Going medium deep to Tyree Call again at 12. And a first down. Then another pass, four yards. Second and six. We're going to try the run. And Holmes fumbles it for the second time in a game and a half. Green Bay with the ball, they punt. 
We have it with 51 seconds left. We're going to hit Gonzalez over the middle, but it's pit. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's crazy. We forced a fumble, but it was end of the half. Green Bay. They get a touchdown. Miss the extra point. It's 14-6 now in the third quarter. We get two yards with Holmes. Second and eight coming up. There we go. Tyree Call. Caught. Jumps the tackle. 25 yards later, he's out of bounds with the first in field goal range. We hit Holmes. Gets nine yards. It's going to be second and one. Second and one. We're going to run it. And we get the one yard. It's first down. On first, hitting Tyreek Hall, misses one tackle, gets 21 yards. We're at the eight and a half, first and goal. On first and goal, just before we get sacked, we throw it. Holmes catches it. It's 20 to six. Going for two, we got sacked. So it says 20 to six. Green Bay punts. We're up by 14 here in the fourth quarter. How was that picked? How was that picked? Oh my goodness. It's 20 to 12, 206 left after Green Bay scores off a turnover. There we go. A couple of four yard completions makes it third and a long one. And the default drops it fourth down. We're going for it. We're going for it. We hit Holmes. I guess you have to overthrow your guy. But a big gainer. I think that said 17 yards. And a first down, most importantly. Then we get seven yards on the first. We hit Gonzalez. Nine yards and another first down there. On first down, throw it. Oh, I got sacked. I was about to throw it and create some decent yardage. They blitz again on second and long, but I hit Holmes out of the backfield for 15 yards. Third and inches. Going to bounce it up. Ooh, that is just shy of the line. Fourth down. We're going for it. We're going for it. Two yards, nothing flashy, but we get the first down. We get more time off the clock, and that should be game over. We get three yards with Holmes there. Second down, just overthrown and complete. Third down, we're hitting the default, diving down, first down. We can run the clock out, which is what we'll do. If we get another touchdown, which we do rushing with Priest Holmes, we'll take it. It's 26-12. Going for two. We get the two. 28-12 should be the final score. And yes, it is. So we win 28-12. We will praise the player. Good job, Derek Thomas. And Boost Willie Shields' stamina and Justin Houston's stamina. There we go. Now we take on Minnesota. We'll praise Willie Shields for playing Retro Bowl. Of course we will. So here we go against Minnesota. This is a Bad base Vikings team, and they turn it over. So we start with the ball 25 yards from the end zone. First pass of the game falls incomplete. Second pass of the game also falls incomplete. It's third and 10. On third and 10, going over the top, 25 makes it 6 0. Going for two. We got sacked. Oof. 
But we force a punt. We're back on offense. And there we go. We hit Tyreek Hall for a gain of 11. And on first and 10, it's going to be a blitz. We're going to throw it quick. That is caught by Tyree Collins stride. That is 26 yards and a first down. On first down, there we go. Hitting Tyreek, gain of 14. And another first, first and goal now. On the ground with Priest Holmes, we get three yards. Down to the two, second and goal. Bounce it up. Two-yard rushing touchdown makes it 12-0. Going for two. There we go. Wide open on the outside. Tyreek. It's 14-zip. We force another punt. We're back on offense. We're just going to run it to start the drive out. Get three yards. Make it second and seven. On second and seven. Going over the middle. That's Tyreek Hall. 13 yards. First down. On first down, we're going semi-deep middle, caught 18 yards first down. On first, running the ball. There we go, Holmes, two yards and a first. On first down, we're throwing it, and it's incomplete. Could have been a lot worse. Third and eight, we hit Tyreek. We get six and a half. Fourth and a solid one coming up. We're going for it. Check it to Priest Holmes. Just get the first down, and he actually gets a lot more. He gets 14 yards to make it a first down. He only needed one, but he got 14. Then runs it for three yards. The running game does not feel very good in the new update so far. I will just go on the record saying that. I had people telling me, oh, you're going to love the run game with the new update. I don't. I liked it more on the old update. Fourth and two, we're going for it again. There we go. There we go. 11 yards first down. Running backs receiving the ball are more effective, but running it, okay, that was the first stiff arm I've seen, we got two yards out of it, second and eight, hitting Tony Gonzalez, caught, touchdown, it's 20 to zero, going for two, 22 zero is your score, we picked it off, we start the second half with the ball, and there we go, six yards, Makes it second and, you know, a long three instead of a short four. Holmes runs, gets four yards, gets the first. That's his best run in the new update is four yards. And a four-yard run, not very good, but he gets two in a row at least. Second and six. We get a yard to make it third and five. Although, actually, it was second and five, so now it's third and four. We're going to try the run against the Blitz, see how that goes. Our best run in the new update, six yards. Second down. Oh, or sorry, first and ten. We threw it short. Second and ten. Going to try the run. We got a yard. It's third and nine. And on third and nine, we hit Holmes, get eight yards, it's fourth down, we're going for it. Throwing it outside, caught by Tyreek Hall, eight yards, first down. On first, run with Holmes, just get a yard. Why is the running game so bad in the new update? There we go. Tyreek Hall on second down gets 11 yards and a first. First and goal to be precise. And to the end zone, it's picked. Oh, defensive backs can pick everything again, and the running game's not good. Well, it's good I'm figuring this out now before I'm playing any league games. And we're still winning 22-0 as we hit Hall for 37 yards. 
So I really shouldn't complain too much, but it's frustrating a little bit. I didn't get Priest Holmes at running back to have him getting less than five yards every single time I try to give him the ball. You know, part of the balance of the running game is that he can occasionally break something to the outside. Instead, we get Gonzalez for 12 yards and a first. I mean, with the passing game, if you're still getting most of your yardage, 12 yards a pop, and then the running game, you're lucky to get six yards. That's a yikes for me. When you could get 20 yards on the ground, you know, even if it did require a bit of luck, we're starting to use audibles because why not? Oh my goodness. This running game is really not going well. Fourth and goal. Caught touchdown. So we'll win either 28 or 30 to nothing. But yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated by the run game right now. A little bit frustrated by it. 30-0 is the win. We'll praise Eric Berry. The defense is clamping down. They're really clamping down. Priest Holmes boosts his strength. Maybe that will help. Maybe that will help. Whatever the situation was, we had to find Bobby Bell. Now we're taking on the Titans. Here we go. And starting off, we're going to throw to Holmes. See, receiving, he's really good. 14 yards in a first. That's way better than your typical 8 or 9 yard check down. Then we hit Tony Gonzalez, 13 yards in a first. So the passing game is really good. But when I try to run it, big stiff arm and he gets half a yard. Not a fan of that. Then we hit Tyree Call, strafe outside, big stiff arm, 19 yards first down in the red zone. Going to Tony Gonzalez, splits a couple tacklers, 14 yards first and goal. On first and goal, hitting Travis Kelsey, caught, touchdown. It is 6 0. We're going for two, and it is 8 0, Kansas City. Tennessee with the ball, they throw a pick. So our defense continues to make plays. We hit Tyreek Hall, get 14 yards. On first down, we're going to Tony Gonzalez. Six yards makes it second and four. We'll probably try to run. Got an okay run formation. We got a yard and a half out of it. Again, the run game is kind of ruined. Maybe I need to just truly stack my all line. I'll do running builds with other teams and see how some of those go. But, you know, my frustration bouncing is kind of over at this point. Oh my goodness. Now, I heard the catching rating affects your fumbling. Holmes has a low catching rating, so that would make sense. Of course, shut these alarms off. As I throw a pick. Let's see what the Titans do. Oh, they score and it's 8-8. All right, here we go. Alarms are shut off. That is to Tyree Hall. That is caught. We're under the two-minute mark in the first half. We're tied 8-8. Getting a little bit frustrated with some of the AI things, but we just have to adapt and overcome. Back on the ground, Priest Holmes. Two yards. How is that a two-yard run? How? And that's a four-yard run. I'm getting no chances at, again, more than four yards. Nothing radical. Okay, hit Holmes, 11 yards, first down. Didn't fumble. Didn't fumble. That was huge. On first, oh, they're just clamping everything. We'll take our eight yards to Kelsey, make it second and two. Run it on second and two, and we don't even get the sticks. This is every single time. Third and inches. 
Going to Tyree Call caught 11 yards out of bounds, 47 seconds left. Then we'll get a Holmes, get 9 yards, make it 2nd and 1. And then we'll run on 2nd and inches. Diving forward is the best run I can do. Because we get the 2 yards, we get the 1st. Pound it right up the middle. Maybe that's the move. Because we got the stiff arm and a 3-yard rushing touchdown to make it 14-8. Going for 2. It is 16-8. to eight. And, okay, we sacked them, but they got a field goal. They punt to start the second half, so we're up 16-11, and we got the ball back. Going over the top to Holmes, we get right to the stick, second and, okay, first and 10. I was going to say it should be second and inches coming up, but it's actually first and 10. We get a yard. I'm going to try to run up the middle. Not on second and nine, but at some point when it feels right to run, I'm going to try to run it just right up the middle. We get 14 yards in a first to Tyreek Hall. On first down, going back to Tyreek. There is six yards, second and four. Let's try it right here. Jeez, yeah, I guess you have to run it right up the middle. That was, it said two yards. It was clearly three and a half, third and inches, and we lose two yards. Okay, I thought I figured it out, but I clearly haven't. Fourth down, I should kick the field goal. But we're going for it. We get it. Seven yards in our first. On first down, the blitz is coming. And the blitzer tries to lurk with Holmes, but you can't lurk that well. That's 14 yards in a first. On first and goal, going to Tyreek Cott. Touchdown. It is 22-11. Going for two to make it 24-11. Titans, they punt. Here we go. Back on offense. Yeah, they're covering these running backs a lot better. But when I'm completing them, I'm getting more yards. So it's kind of a trade-off with that. Again, the run game, I'm going to do my best to stop talking about it. Second and one. Let's get the first down. Let's get the first down. Okay, that was a decent run. Gain of five. We head to the fourth. We're up by 13 with the ball. There we go. Hit Holmes. Four yards. Second and six coming up. On second and six. Okay, they're going to lurk. We're going to throw it where only Holmes can catch it. 19 yards and a first into the red zone. We go. On first down, 11 yards, and another first down to the 8. And on first down, we hit Kelsey for the touchdown. It's 30-11. Dialing up the 2. We got sacked before I could even throw it where I wanted to. Tennessee had to punt, so we're up 19 with the ball. With just over a minute left, we'll try to get one more score. We're also going to try to keep feeling out this new AI and continue to make adjustments. So again, the passing game to the running back, better than it was before. Um, You know my thoughts on the running game. I heard stamina. These wide receivers are running with rocks in their shoes. Yeah, Tyreek Hall... The stamina, it's now a progressive throughout the game thing, not a single play adjustment. That's, on the one hand, it's realistic. On the other hand, it's frustrating. But at least that one I was aware of. Kelsey catches it. That should be a first. Now fourth down. Well, we're going for it. Hitting Tony Gonzalez. Hole. Oh. You want to talk about rocks in your shoes. That was rocks in your shoes. We got the first down, first and goal, the blitz. So they cover the running backs, but they don't cover the tight ends. You know what? I'm fine with that. You want to leave my tight ends wide open? We'll take it. I got sacked on the two again, but we win 36-11. Eric Berry's hurt. That's not good. Bobby Bell had a good performance, so we'll praise him after we had to rip on him a bit. 
Houston got a sack. And yeah, we won. Let's do a quick stats check. Mahomes, 218 for 236, 2,200 yards on the year, 32 touchdowns, 5 picks. Priest Holmes, 480 rushing yards, but 12 for 20. His average is depleting. Receiving, he's over 600 yards. Gonzalez, 440 yards. Kelsey, 394. Tyree Hall, 1253. And Houston, a pick and two sacks. That's what I wanted to see. A sack for Bell, a pick for Barry. Now we take on the Chargers week 11 in our last game of today's video. Because we're playing week 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 today. And then we're playing 13 through 17 tomorrow of course with week 12 as the bye week if you couldn't see that on the screen we hit gonzalez for seven yards to start off the game then there we go tyreek hall fought the tackler out of bounds first down again they're leaving my tight end wide open that's tony gonzalez for the easiest 15 yards he's ever had to gain travis kelsey Gets the wheel route, strafe out, strafe in, 12 yards first down. Then Tony Gonzalez for five yards, makes it second and five. Second and five, going to Kelsey Cott, five yards first down. No, third and inches. Okay. And again, they're covering my running back, but they leave Gonzalez wide open for 13 yards. They leave him open for 13 yards to cover my running back. We'll take it. We get the 13-yard touchdown to Tyreek Hall. We get Holmes for the two. It's 8-0. The Chargers, they're driving. They score. It's 8-8. Back on offense. Throwing it to Holmes. They covered the tight end. They covered the receiver, but we got 12 yards and a first. Here we go. The blitz where they leave the tight end wide open. That is Kelsey. That is 16 yards. It's too easy. It's too easy. And now Tony Gonzalez wide open. Well, Tyreek Hall caught it and said, but you saw I was clearly going to the tight end. It's first and goal at the six and a half. It's not a blitz here, so we're going to run it. Okay, we got two yards. I shouldn't be that excited about a two-yard run. But it was actually fairly decent. Then we got a yard running it up the middle. Third and goal coming up. Still not a blitz look. We just throw it short end zone incomplete. Fourth down. We're going for it. We want touchdowns. There we go. Tyree Hall touchdown. It's 14-8. Going for two. Running back was open. A rare open running back. It's 16-8. There we go, Priest Holmes, way to make the play. Chargers score. They fail the two, it's 16-14. Minute left in the half. Throwing it to Holmes, and he fumbles it. Oh my goodness, if that counts as an interception, that would be annoying. It's now 21-16. Not quite a minute left in the first half. Tyree Hall caught. There we go, other side of midfield. We've got time to bounce back and score, but... We're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive. Holmes caught first down, gain a 12. We're letting the clock run still. First down, hitting Hall. Strafe outside, seven yards. Okay, I'm going to run another play here. I'm going to change the play a couple times with audibles. If I need to get the ball downfield, okay, and so I'm sacked. We're going to try the field goal with the default, and we miss it. Oh. We're down five at the half, but we get a stop. We get a stop. Here we go. Starting the second half off, let's get a touchdown right here, right now. This is our toughest game so far. We ran it twice, got nothing. Third and six. There we go. We got Holmes first down, diving down, gain of 14. 
So that's what hurt us a bit in the first half was the Holmes fumbleception. I'm calling it fumbleception because the game said it was picked, even though it was clearly a fumble. We get Gonzalez for six yards and a first. On first down, there we go. Tyree Call caught nine yards, second and one coming up. On second and one, we get Tyreek again. Six yards, first down. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, thank goodness I hit Holmes right before the lurker would have picked it. We got nine yards to make it second and one. Let's run it here. Okay, Kelsey needs to get that block a little better. That's one thing I'm noticing. We got the first down, but it wasn't pretty. On first down, there we go. The curl route, 13-yard touchdown. It's 22-21. We're going for two. It's 24-21. So that's big. We bounce back from a couple of rough drives. Chargers got a field goal. It's 24-all. We have the ball. The one thing we cannot do is turn it over with no points on the board. We cannot do that. There we go. Tyree caught. First down and more. We'll get out of bounds. We'll take our yardage. On first down, going over the linebacker. 13 yards first down. That's what we need, Priest Holmes. That's what we need. You're still getting us your value, even though you're struggling as a pure running back. We got nine plus yards to Tyree Call, second and inches. We'll just take the first down and whatever else we can get. We got three yards there. Not bad. First down, again, they leave the tight ends open on the blitz. We get eight yards at second and two. If you're going to give us that, we're going to feast on it all day. We get half of the two we need on the ground, third and one. Oh, I don't like this look. There we go. Tyree calls short, caught, jumps a couple tackles, out of bounds at the one. First and goal, Tony Gonzalez caught touchdown. It's 30 to 24. Going for two. Oh, they blitz on the two and leave our tight end wide open. It's 32 24. We've guaranteed at least a shot at overtime. Chargers get a field goal. It's 32 27. I thought the AI was improved. You would never go for a field goal down eight late in the fourth quarter. But hey, it gives us the win. We get nine yards to Kelsey on first down. Second down coming up. We're going to go for at least a couple more plays, see what we can do. We got the first down. On first down, we'll audible it. We're playing the blitz. Oh, I threw a pick. I threw a pick. But the Chargers didn't have enough time. So we win a close 32 27 decision. If you look at the West right now, 11 wins, 7 7 6. So that's 11 and 14, 25, 31 wins through 11 weeks with five games left per team. You know, there's a couple divisional games. If we got 12 more wins to that, that's 43 wins in the division. We're insanely stacked. But with that said, that's going to do it for today's video. We'll take the coach experience in the bye, try to level him up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, though. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Retro Bowl content. In the comments, let me know what you think of the team builds. I've seen some requests for next teams to do. I will take those. I think... We've had the Seahawks, the 49ers, and the Ravens requested. So those likely will be three of the next teams. Again, depending on which coaching jobs become available at the end of this season and then the preceding seasons that are featured on the channel with the other team builds. Feel free to comment more teams you want to see. Feel free to comment players you want to see on those teams you're recommending. So if you're a Seahawks fan... Should I use Sean Alexander or Marshawn Lynch? I can have one back up the other, but I need you guys to let me know what players you want to actually see. Otherwise, I'll just use my best judgment and try to make a pretty good team. I really like this Chiefs team I've built, but maybe you don't. 
that's why I want your feedback to make it as good as possible. With all of that being said, that's going to do it for now, though. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.